MC21300 has been successfully tested in natural icing conditions. The Irkut Corporation of the United Aircraft Corporation has successfully completed certification tests of the MC21300 airliner under natural icing conditions. The aircraft confirmed its design performance even with an 8 cm layer of ice. This fully complies with Russian and European aviation standards, according to certification rules. The airliner made 14 test flights lasting from 3 to 5 hours over the coast of the White Sea, the Pakora Bay of the Barents Sea as well as in the region of the subpolar Urals. On April 7 the plane returned from the Arkhangelsk airport to the Ramansky airfield in Zhukovsky. In spring, under the influence of the White and Barents Seas, multi-layer clouds, frequent precipitation and frontal partitions, conditions for the occurrence of icing of aircraft are created in this region. The main danger of ice is the distortion of the carefully calculated shape of the wing and other surfaces of the aircraft, as a result of which its flight performance can significantly deteriorate. Test flights of MC-21300 aircraft from Arkhangelsk Airport took place in several stages. On the first, based on the data of the Meteorological Service, the crew searched for clouds, the icing in which corresponds to the conditions of the aircraft's certification basis. During the flight in such clouds, the crew using special instruments, monitored the formation of ice on the surfaces of the aircraft. Upon reaching the required ice thickness, the plane occupied a given altitude, at which the behavior of the machine under natural icing conditions was checked. The thickness of the ice layer increased from flight to flight. In addition to the stability and controllability of the aircraft, the operation of the anti-icing systems of the MC-21300 aircraft was tested. According to the current regulations, in order to increase safety, the tests confirm the ability of the aircraft to continue flying with the anti-icing system inoperative. Also, in icing conditions, the operation of a number of aircraft systems was tested, in particular, external lighting equipment, radio communication equipment and landing gear.